everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. Uh, we're back today and we're starting another series. 1.12 was released. You can see down here in the bottom left hand corner that we are currently in 1.12 and I've slowly set up the server. So we're going to log in with the Tinker77 camera account so that we can do some setup of the server before everybody else gets on. So we're going to go right now. We're going to go to multiplayer and we're going to log on our server. This is so much faster than when we had full craft because it's, there's no mods to run. So I am going to go into spectator mode really quick. And there we go. Okay, so now what can we do? Well, we're going to have to first of all, we're going to, have to try to figure out some things that we want to do. Uh, one thing I want to do here is I want to show you the seed. So I want to type that. And there's a seed number in case you want to follow along with what's going on. Okay. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to find the spawn location. The actual, uh, so that we know we're the center of the spawn. And one of the ways you can do that is with a compass. So let me grab a compass. Okay. And the compass needle points to where it, the center is. You can see it just flipped. So we're right above it right here. Probably right here. Yeah. So right here is about where we want to be. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back in spectator mode. And we're going to go all the way down below everything. And go into uh, below here and put in some command blocks for what we want to do. Okay. So we're going to get down here. Now we're like kind of like below the world. Okay. So what have I already done? Like I said, I did the seed. The next thing I already did was I set up uh, the loot tables for the mob heads. This is something that Exumavoid has done on the Hermitcraft Season 5, and he made it open to the public, and I thought I would add this to this series. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is the fire tick, making sure that the fire doesn't uh, go across things. And if you look at slash game rule here, there's a bunch of different things that it says. And one of them is do fire tick. So we're going to do game rule do fire tick false. Wasn't that pretty easy? So now fire won't spread. So what else do we want to do? Well, the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that we can have the ability to sleep. So let me go look up the uh, what's needed for that, and I'll be back. Okay, we're down underground here, and I want to go back into creative mode, game mode one. Now I need to first of all definitely have a command block. Um, so we're going to do a slash give, and uh, I'm going to put in my name, tinker 77 cam and Minecraft, and it's not that, so C-O-M, command block. And there we have that. That's one of the first things you need to remember to have. Now, um, sometimes I find it's easy to have a, a night vision potion down here. So let's go grab one of those two. So we'll go into here and we'll go we'll do a search on night vision. Okay, and that's useful. So we can see down here. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out some space here um, just by digging out some things. Now see, someone might be able to see that there, so I'm going to try not to use that spot. Or I'll just replace it with bedrock here. The idea is we're going to clear out some space where we can have all of the command blocks where no one can get to them. Pretty cool. Anyway, okay, so now what we need to do here for the sleeping, this is there is a pattern here, and you have to have different command blocks facing the correct position. So we want this is be one, oops, excuse me. You want one there and one there. So see how they're kind of like arrows are pointing out, and you want one beside it, and you want two more. And then you want two of those, and then you want three coming out. Okay. That's the pattern you want for the sleep system okay so now we're going to set up some things and then we're going to set up the command blocks so i'm going to be cutting and pasting from a uh, notepad that i have open so give me a sec here and i'll show you what we do this is all coming from the system that uh, exumavoid had put up so i'm just going to paste this stuff in there we add a scoreboard for uh the objectives for sleep dummy it's easier if i pause it like that we'll add in the kick bed trigger We're going to add in the command block output is false. So we don't see all the spam. Okay. And the other one we're going to see is logging admin commands. Okay. So those are all the things you need to do first. Now, like I said, all this will be um, are from Exumavoid's video, and I'll be putting a link to that in the description. So now we have to set the command blocks. Now, the thing about the command blocks is all of these in the back need to be repeat 
and they need to be conditional or unconditional. And right now we're going to set this as need redstone. They will eventually be set to always active. Right now we're going to do this, okay? So this first one has that for a command, okay? Now I'm just like I said, I'm copying it directly, okay? Okay, and then in front of it, this is a chain, unconditional. I'll have it to need redstone. And this one says this. There we go. Okay. Now this is also a repeat, unconditional, needs redstone. And this one's kind of long. So I'm going to try to grab it here, cutting and pasting. I know this might be boring, um, but I wanted. I told people I would do a video just of me doing setup. Okay. Go over here again. Unconditional needs redstone, and this is the third one, 3A. Exumavoid goes into very good detail of what all of this means. Um, okay, and then this is the chain again. Unconditional. There we go. Put that in and done. Okay. Now these are again repeat. This one, I believe, is a statement that actually advances time. Right there. And this again it is repeat, same thing. This one checks if there's any problems and it um, for sleeping for too long, it clears the weather because that way it makes sure that you can get up. And then the last one does a lot of the cleanup work that we're going to do. This is also repeat. Takes a while to cut and paste these things correctly. Oops, whoa, a little spin action there. Sorry about that. And then the next two are chains. Put these in here and like that. And the last one is the last chain. Okay. Now this one I think is pointing the wrong way, so I'm going to blow it away and put another block. I think I did that wrong. Just got to make sure they're all pointing the right direction. Come on. There we go. Okay, now that's chain, and we'll put that text back. Okay, so that should be all set up. Now all I need to do is just make all these always active, and then we'll do a quick test of it. So I'll just put these as always active. And the system should be up and running. Okay, so that should work. Now I'm going to go back up. All the way through all of this, you can see there's stuff spawning because I'm down there. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a bed down. I'm going to try to set it to nighttime and try to sleep through the night. Okay? So here we go. Let's go back into game of one. We're going to have a bed. Oh, good. We got lots of colors. Let's grab the blue bed because that's just cool. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to set the night to time. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to try to sleep. Sleeping seemed to work fine, so that should work fine when there are multiple people on the server, okay? So now we're going to work on the next thing. For this next section, we're going to make it so that the Ender Dragon will drop the Elytra. So again, we're going to the other command block. I'll put it down. We're going to go into that. This will be a repeat, unconditional, always active. And what this has is it's basically an entity data command. And we do that, and it's set. So it should be good to go. I'm not going to test it. Once we get into fighting and we'll see if it drops it when we kill the Ender Dragon at that point, I'm not going to test that out. So the next thing we're going to work on, I believe, is setting up so the Enderman can't grief us. To set up the Enderman no griefing mod, we're going to put in a command block and then we're going to go into that and we're going to make it repeat and always active. Now I've got the command ready to go here. Um, and that's all it is. It's just basically swapping out the uh, what the entity is holding, the Enderman, and basically making what he's carrying is a piston extension, um, which is an invisible block. Okay, so we're gonna hit that. And I'm gonna go up and show you this up top. Go back up. So because he's holding the block, he won't be able to pick up anything else like dirt or any other objects, which makes it uh, nice so he won't pick up something with redstone on it or that sort of thing. So there's our bed. I'm looking around. I don't see any Enderman. So let's spawn one just to test it. And you can see his hands are extended like he's carrying something, but actually he's carrying an invisible block, which is that piston extension. So that's working too. So I think everything is set up.
I think everything is set up. We're going to blow away this, this bed here. So I am Tinker77. Thanks for joining me for this video. We are all set up for the new Tinker World. We're going to be starting up that up in the next video, and that will be Tinker World Episode 1. So if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to the channel, of course. I'll put all the links to what I've used down in the description of this video. So have fun. Thanks. Bye-bye.